EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for December 18th, 2018. For your Tuesday, expecting mostly sunny skies across the region as high pressure moves in. We will be breezy a little bit this morning yet until that uh, pressure gradient moves away, which is going to be over the eastern portions of our region this morning. That will move away uh, before noon, and it should uh, the wind should start to calm down this afternoon as high pressure continues to move eastward. So uh, not expecting uh, anything but uh, blue skies today after that uh, wind moves out, out and the high pressure moves into the region. So uh, it will be colder today, though, because we're on the northwesterly flow around that high and temperatures will be below average today. So uh, going forward from this point, we will have high pressure on top of us overnight, so clear skies and uh, likely some frost across the region as the winds will be light. And then winds will, or the high pressure will shift off to the south and east on Wednesday. Probably does so later in the day, so you don't get, it'll warm up a little bit but uh, compared to today, but uh, back to near average, uh, similar to what yesterday was in terms of highs. But again, partly to mostly sunny across the region on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, high pressure is going to get established off the eastern coast here. So we have winds that are going to uh, be promoting warmer temperatures, uh, even warmer than Wednesday. So we're going to go to slightly above average here on Wednesday for for highs. And then we have an increase in clouds with this system coming in from the south and west. Uh, hard to say whether it's going to make it here by late afternoon or not on Thursday, but uh, you can bank on the evening at least uh, for it to come in from the south. And then rain will continue during the overnight hours. Might be some heavy rain involved with this for some areas again. And then that will uh, lift off quickly to the north. We should get a break in here. Most models are now showing a little bit of a break where it's just kind of maybe drizzly or maybe a few light showers or just cloudy in between uh, once this ends early on Friday morning. And uh, then we have a, a bit of a break as it uh, lull in between. And then uh, the second uh, energy will head west of here, or west of most areas, but could get the central western portions for coverage area in the central PA counties uh, with the second batch, and that's going to be in the afternoon and evening. Uh, might even be some snow up here for far northwestern Pennsylvania, but I don't think we get into much here. So should, after that, main, the main show here is going to be through Friday morning, and we have just some residual showers here on Friday, it looks like. And then uh, the system will continue to lift off to the north. And it uh, looks like Saturday now is is dry. We were saying that in the previous video also, but the trends have been on both the GFS and European model to have a dry day Saturday, but it will be breezy. So these isobars are pretty close together again, and that's because this departing low is still uh, fairly close. And you have high pressure out here in the Ohio Valley, so the pressure gradient in between is creating the wind. Uh, so very similar to what happened last night and again this morning, uh, that, but that will uh, take place here on Saturday. It's a little breezy on Saturday, but we are expecting partly to mostly cloudy skies until the system pulls away and then Sunday is a mostly sunny day uh, and temperatures are uh, pretty much near average or maybe very slightly below now this system to the west here this is uh, we were talking about this in the uh, last couple videos here uh, where the models are showing a little piece of energy there's one down here there's one up here they might come together and merge in the middle to give us a little sneaky snow event here uh, and uh, actually the main one's going to be this northern stream system. It's just a fast moving system and uh, this is coming in Sunday night, late Sunday night into Monday morning and could provide some snow showers. Well, everybody knows Christmas Eve is on Monday, so this would be a Christmas Eve snowfall technically. And uh, it looks like it's generally along I-78 and points north right now is where this model is, particular model is honing in on. And uh, it would just be an inch or two, maybe somebody gets three out of it. But it's a very light precipitation, very light snow, just enough to get things festive and that's it. Uh, still a lot of uh, time here for this to change and go north, south, whatever, or nothing here entirely. Uh, which is also very much possible. So uh, we're looking at this almost a week away, but it has shown it on a couple runs here of the European model, and the GFS is hitting at it just a little bit later in timing. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on it, but it doesn't look like a big deal either way, maybe an inch or two across the region of snow. Further south would be of 78 would be a rain-snow mix maybe. Just going to be a temperature-dependent thing, timing-dependent thing, and track-dependent thing, and strength-dependent thing. So we got a lot of time to look at it basically before we uh, commit to anything either way. Uh, but there is going to be a system there, just a matter of how much it produces it where and, uh, you know, what. So uh, we're going forward from that. Uh, we get into uh, Christmas Day itself, and it does look like uh, we are dry uh, mostly sunny, uh, but we are going to be dry and uh, seasonably cold for this time of year. Uh, the next system won't come in until after Christmas, it looks like. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is our outlook for December 18th, 2018. Have a great Tuesday.